Hello, I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARRL Laboratory. Let's take a look at that FTDM400DR. Well, here is the main body of the FTM400DR. The speaker is on top. Control head connection is here, microphone connection here, data, storage card here. Let's flip it around the back. Here's your fan to keep things cool. Antenna connection, data jack. That data jack's for an external TNC. This is set up for APRS with an internal modem, a TNC. And, uh, but if you want to do other packet, you'll have to use an external TNC. Here is also the uh, speaker jack, which is stereo. So this does come with, a, uh, with an adapter for a mono jack. Let's take a look underneath, and we have the cooling fins. Keeps things cool. Put that down and let's see what else you get. Also, here's the control head. More on this later. It also comes with an MH48 microphone. That's very familiar. Mm -hmm. A uh, mobile mounting bracket. And this uh, little bracket for the control head is stuck to your dashboard with some of this sticky tape. Here's your data connection your cable for your PC for updating the firmware and programming the radio. We have some spare fuses and even a microphone clip. Well, here it is. It's on. And as you can see, it's a full dual bander. And it has a touch screen to change bands. There I'm on two meters and back to 70 centimeters. To change modes, I press this button over here on the left. There we go. Digital, uh, full voice, uh, high quality digital. Uh, FM and back to digital again. Now let's try the display mode. Hit that once and look there's the point of the compass that I'm heading, their GPS information, altitude, all that is displayed here. Check that out. Unfortunately I'm inside of a big building here. Can't get any of the GPS satellites but let's imagine anyway and here's your stop clock uh, and the date and all that good stuff. That's where the GPS information is and you can see where other stations using APRS are located and how far away they are. Quite good. Adjusting the squelch is simple. Press the button, turn this up and down like that. Yes indeed. These are of course the dials that adjust the frequency. These are the volume knobs. Very few controls overall. Yes, and now uh, I'll put it over in the digital mode and let's see how it sounds. Testing. Testing. One, One two, two, three. three. Yes, it does indeed work. Now let's take a look at the companion radio, the ASU FT-1D. Well, here it is. Similar to the other ASU handhelds, but of course this one's digital. And analog FM. Now, the encoding wheel's up here. This makes all your adjustments. To actually change the volume, you have to press this volume button and turn the knob. Your GPS antenna is hidden under here. Your whip antenna on the side is your push to talk, your monitor button that breaks the squelch, again the volume control and here's your power on off and also lock. We'll spin it around and we have the microphone uh, uh, here, the speaker, external DC input here and also charging and this data plug. We're going to plug something into this shortly. It's going to be that external speaker microphone camera and of course your micro SD card is plugged into here. So that's the walk around. There's a lot of features here. Be sure to read the manual. But actually, it's not too bad to understand. Yesu lays it out uh, fairly well. And the microphone is right here in that little hole, so that's where you aim for. Here's what I plugged into the data port it's the speaker, microphone, and camera combination. Look, the lens is right here. And I'm going to take a picture with this. Here it goes. All I have to do is press this button and aim it at whatever I want to. Okay, here am I. Hi, everybody. All right, now if I want to send it, all I have to do is press this button like that. Well, that was an interesting exercise. I'm Bob Allison, WB1GCM, here at the ARL Laboratory.